Hey everybody, welcome to today's video, where today we are back at the sushi, by very, 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 very popular request. I would in fact think of recent, in regards to any of these reviews, or restaurant challenges, etc, etc, people are like, sushi, sushi, sushi. So here we are. Um, so we are at the Kyoto House, which is in downtown Toronto, it's on Dundas Street. In fact, it's only about two blocks away from the Young and Dundas Square. Which, if you're not familiar with Toronto or the surrounding area, is one of the most popular and well-known areas, monuments, sightseeing, whatever we want to call that. So I'm here with my good friend, Mr. George Chigger, also known as the Smorgasbord. So he and a few other gentlemen and ladies were in town for the Smokes Poutine Eating Contest. Um, so it was the day before the contest, so we decided, let's go get some sushi. So went to the Kyoto house, because like I said, right nice downtown location. And in fact, this is the cheapest all-you-can-eat sushi in Toronto. I was there when the lunch was $14.99. Now I believe it's $15.99. However, their dinner is only $24. So for $24, all-you-can-eat sushi, making it the cheapest all-you-can-eat in Toronto. No, I think this is the dragon. So for our opening rounds, we started with the white tuna and the salmon sashimi. There you go, everybody. Everybody always says my pronunciation, so sashimi, uh, which was absolutely delicious. The pieces were a reasonable thickness. Um, they were quite small, like in length. That being said, I mean, you know, you can order as many as you want. Um, so I believe me and George ordered about 20 or 25 of the white tuna and the salmon to start. And then, as you saw here, we just got all our rolls. George had a rainbow roll and a dragon roll. I ordered a series of um, both spicy salmon rolls. There was, I believe, some uh, spicy crispy salmon rolls, uh, which is, I believe, that thing right there. We then had some eel rolls. I did order some white tuna rolls, uh, spicy white tuna rolls, but we actually didn't get them. Um, but that being said, the spicy salmon roll is definitely one of my go-tos. I think we might have even had a bit of a scallop roll. I definitely had some spicy crab rolls. Um, so we were just kind of ordering a, a large variety of items. We just really wanted to try everything. And, well, I'm not going to give it away, but let's just say maybe we did try almost everything. Um, you see me playing around my camera a little bit. I'm just trying to adjust the lighting. Um, not to mention this restaurant was absolutely packed. In fact, to be blatantly honest with you, um, to get enough room to have my camera, I had to book a table for three people. Um, like, there literally was no seats. We had to wait. We, we had a reservation and we still had to wait. Like this place, if you've never been, is literally so busy. I would honestly bet this is one of the busiest restaurants in Toronto, and for good reason. So all of the food is great. Like I was not expecting the sashimi and uh, kind of, we'll say some of the more specialty dinner items to be as good as they were. Again, I was here at lunch and it was great. There was no complaints. Um, however, I was very much taking into consideration that it was $15. Here for $24 at the dinner menu, it was, I think, on par. I, no, let me, read, let me take a step back. This place was exceptionally better than a few sushi restaurants I have been to where I was paying, you know, $25, $30 for the, uh, for the meal, for the, the supper price. You know, about, I think around you know, 26, 27, 28, um, $30, somewhere in that $25 to $30 range, in my opinion, is a typical all-you-can-eat sushi dinner price. So for $24 here, although the variety is slightly limited, it was great. Oh, maybe that is 
Spider-Man? Was there a difference between did I get the Spider-Man last night, or is there something different from getting it? I'll be honest with you. I couldn't tell you. Uh -huh. So here George tried a few more of their kind of, we'll say, specialty roles. So again, he got the uh, Dragon Roll, I believe it was, and then what they called the Spider Roll, which was just a very slight variant of the Rainbow Roll or the other one he had. He also then went with some more traditional uh, sushi pieces, again, kind of the uh, salmon and the white tuna, and then also some uh, sashimi. Uh, in both the crab variety, like there, then the tuna again, and the salmon again. And again, I was very impressed with how all of the sashimi and everything was tasting. It was definitely well worth the $24. Um, so what I actually really enjoyed about this place on this experience was that even though it was crazy busy, how fast everything was coming. Like I started to mention earlier, the amount of covers like the amount of people this place serves in a day is phenomenal there's constantly a wait they're constantly flipping tables and they are so good at putting this food out like so 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 quickly again full restaurant and honestly we were getting plates and trays i mean within probably five minutes max 10 of order <laughs> I also have to add that, again, now maybe this is, you know, normal, I've only been there twice, but the presentations were absolutely phenomenal as well. Like here at the dinner time, like some of the presentations on these dishes were, I would say, at par, if not like some of the best I've seen at all you can eat sushi places. They were stacking everything really nicely, you just saw that beautiful array, that circle of rolls. Um, whereas when I was here at lunch, nothing came, I'm going to say, like, nicely or, like, untraditionally presented. Like, everything was just on a plate. But here, everything was looking really, really great. Not sure if that was because we had a camera or just simply because that's something they do at dinner time that comes with the higher price tag. Um, nonetheless, I mean, does it change the overall experience? Eh, it makes it more interesting. The only one... I'm going to say kind of sticking point, downfall, um, etc. of this restaurant and of this experience was often items were, uh, I don't know if I want to say missed, but I think downsized is the proper term. So me and George are quite big eaters. There you go. Like I just undid my pants and I undo my pants if I always need to. But we would order, you know, let's say, I don't know, 30 pieces of sashimi and let's say, you know, 50 rolls. Mm, on multiple occasions, we'd only get maybe like 30 of those rolls and then maybe all of the sashimi, maybe not. Um, it's not that, and it's not even that they were necessarily missing it. So like, let's pretend we ordered some spicy salmon rolls. It's not that they were totally missing the spicy salmon rolls, but they were only giving us, I don't know, let's say six out of the... 20 we ordered so that was kind of odd that was kind of weird i mean i'm not taking that overly seriously and i'm not considering that a huge downfall or a huge negative i'm not discrediting the whole experience because of that but it was just kind of odd so i mean we'd have to reorder it again on the next batch we'd have to kind of question and query whether we were actually going to receive the amount that we're ordering um you know so, I mean, it slowed everything down a little bit, and a little bit of ambiguity, meh. I mean, again, it didn't aid the experience, but it definitely didn't destroy it. Um, again, George with the fancy rolls, that was a rose salmon sushi. So it's kind of like a piece of salmon that kind of ball up, and they put some kind of, a, I don't know, like a mayonnaise dressing in it. Um, really nice and light tasting as well. So if you've never had one, I definitely recommend it. Um, I'm a big fan of both kind of the uh, white tuna, even though some people say it's not actually tuna. Um, then also the salmon. I like all the tunas. I like the salmon. Those are all some of my, my favorite dishes. Um, here, George, I know at one point also got a scallop roll, um, which was pretty good. wasn't bad. Uh, you kind of have to like... Uh, like it was a little bit more of a fishier tasting scallop whereas generally when I have scallops they don't taste overly fishy it didn't taste bad as in like you know rotten or anything but it was kind of a, a bit more on the fishy side so I definitely let him uh, more enjoy that the kinds of fish I like are the 
less fishy tasting fishes, if that makes sense. Um, you know, some fish like snapper, mackerel, etc. just have a stronger uh, fish taste, whereas some don't, and I enjoy the ones that do not as much. Uh, I mentioned earlier we ordered some eel rolls. I didn't comment on them though. Um, eel rolls were great. You know, the avocado in them, also that little bit of a hoisin or whatever sauce they put on it, just kind of adds a nice barbecue flavor and aspect. Um, they are heavier rolls, like very rich, that kind of heavy. So I always only order, let's say, maybe two sets of them. So that's like 12 pieces. Um, you know, generally, maybe a few more sometimes, but only a few because they just sit very, very heavy and I find them very, very rich. Whereas something like the salmon, something like the tuna is uh, a lot lighter on both the stomach, on the palate. Um, and I mean, it just makes me more comfortable. It's something I enjoy. And we weren't like purposely going hard here. We were just wanting to like enjoy the experience. So we were pretty much trying any item we wanted. Um, at this point, it was kind of funny. A few people from the restaurant started it. We're like, "Hey, why don't you try the cooked items?" We're like, uh, "Why do you, want, you know? Why are you saying that?" And then a few minutes later, another person was like, "Oh, you should really try the cooked items." We're like, "They just want us to stop eating all the sushi." Um, but again, nonetheless, they very much were always like, "Do you want anything else? Do you need anything else?" They were very much catering to us, catering to the experience. Um, they weren't hesitant to give us, you know, another order form. It is a paper ordering form. They weren't hesitant to do that at all. Um, so, I mean, again, overall, like, the staff were good. Um, and again, the speed is amazing. Uh, as I mentioned, I had to literally get a, a reservation for three people to be able to get a seat for my camera, like my tripod. Again, that's how crazy busy this restaurant is. So, definitely recommend going if you get the opportunity. The All You Can Eat is available all day. They're open something, I don't know, let's say like 11 until like 11 a.m. until something like 10 p.m., um, which you can go at any time. I believe it's before 5 o'clock, actually. It's four, It's either 4 or 5 o'clock, which is late, a lot later than the uh, a lot of other All You Can Eat restaurants. Um, so if you go before 4 or 5 p.m., it is the All You Can Eat lunch price, which is $16. If you go after that, you do get a more expansive menu, um, and it is $24. But again, like, totally, totally reasonable. George was uh, specifically saying he lives in uh, Pennsylvania, and he's quite close to New York. So he's just saying his experience is going out for sushi in New York at, you know, a normal restaurant, but it's the same if you go to a, a normal sushi restaurant here in Toronto as well, uh, being, you know, you're paying like $10 a per roll. Yeah, the quality may be a little better. The presentation better damn be better. But, I mean, the presentation here was actually really, really good. And, I mean, for the amount we ate, there's that spicy scallop roll I mentioned earlier. For the amount we ate, we definitely, definitely, definitely got our money's worth. Uh, in fact, we were doing the tallies, and if we were going to order everything off their menu that we had eaten, it was like over $400. In fact, if you're paying it again like per item, probably, I would even say after tax and tip, it'd probably be like 500 bucks, maybe even more. So I would say we definitely got our money's worth uh, in that regard. I forget what this roll was, some kind of uh, salmon roll, I think a spicy or crispy salmon roll, and they kind of made it look, again, like decorating the plate. They had those rolls looking like, I don't know, little boats or like raindrops or whatever you want to call it um, so again just like everything was super cool um, so this video is played at a slight increase of speed um, like the majority like right now this is about like 1.6 1.7 times um, so not even you know double of the actual speed we're going on we're coming near the end here just ordered a couple more uh, sushi pieces george got another one of his fancy rolls that's what he was really digging he was really digging those fancy rolls i was really digging uh, my usual favorites again kind of the spicy uh, salmon items also the salmon and tuna sushis uh the sashimis actually again were really really great i've had sashimi a number of times at a number of different restaurants and i've definitely had worse um, if you want to actually watch one of my videos where I go to a horrible sushi place and have an absolutely horrible sushi experience, you can do that. Um, I'll put the link down below or in a card or something. 
Um, so yeah, if you want to watch a horrible experience, go there. If you want to watch a good experience, definitely come here. Again, super great. Uh, the lighting in this video is a little off. The lights behind us were kind of weird, but again, we just kind of made do with what we could. Very thankful there was even room for us to put my camera to even get a seat, especially because this was a like Friday night. I want to say it was maybe like 8 p.m. And they were, like I said, they were just packed. Right, battery life. So you just saw the order form, and like I said, there was definitely a good number of options. There were kind of some items that I've had at other all-you-can-eat supper, like dinner times, that weren't there. But again, I mean, that's probably the difference between the $29, the $30 price tag, and the $24 price tag. Um, so again, overall this restaurant, it's just kind of like simplistic. A lot of the items, and they have both the sushis, both the sashimis, both the rolls. It's just very, very simple. So don't maybe expect the most extravagant array of, let's say, tempura items, most, most extravagant array of cooked items, most extravagant array of kind of f interesting, unique combinations of different rolls and stuff. But if you want just straight up great sushi, at a very, very reasonable price, in fact, the cheapest in Toronto, 100% would recommend. So overall experience, this place literally gets like a nine out of 10. Uh, the only reason why it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because they, again, kind of that downsizing like a number of our orders. So that's the only real reason. But nine out of 10, Kyoto House, down basically at Young and Dundas Square on Dundas Street. Definitely would recommend. Go check that place out. And that, everybody, until next time, happy eating.